Chicago was once the center of America's massive meatpacking industry. But today, Chicago's legacy is scattered across the Great Plains, in states like Minnesota, Nebraska, and Iowa. The butcher's craft is now a sophisticated alliance of man and machine, a high-speed mass disassembly line that pumps out a staggering assortment of traditional meat products, as well as inedible byproducts. The industry is very efficient in terms of, of how they utilize all the parts from an animal. There's very little waste. It all starts with steam cleaning, a process that removes dirt and other contaminants from the hide. The hide itself is removed by a mechanical hide puller, and the 1,300-pound carcass is halved using massive backsplitter saws. The large sides of beef are kept in cold storage for a number of days, this allows enzymes to break down the meat before cutting begins. Highly trained USDA workers grade each carcass for quality and yield. They examine the ribeye portion for the dispersion or marbling of fat cells. The marbled fat is what gives a cooked steak much of its flavor. Select beef has slight marbling. Choice offers modest marbling. And prime grade beef contains the best dispersion of fat. It also fetches the highest market price. In the late 70s and early 80s, when video games came out, people became so creative, they would go and drill holes through their quarters, tie a little bit of fishing line in there, put it in until it hit the micro switch, pull it back out, get their quarter, get a free game. 